Hi, my name is Viviana Valentine. I'm from Nandi and today FM rocks. My name is Ateva. I work at Golden Point Resort. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. My name is Fish. I'm from Tava. I like listening to Big Breakfast. Today FM rocks. I'm Juliana. I'm from Maltaka and I like I like listening to Today FM. Hi, my name is Shelly. I live in Arere. Today FM rocks my drug and lollipop. Bula, my name is So. I'm from Navua. I like listening to Today's FM. Bula, my name is Asilika from Rocky Rocky and Today FM rocks with my flip flops. Today's hit music on Today FM. I'm Amrita Priya Darshni and this is APC News. Tonight, Prime Minister announces cabinet reshuffle. Transport Minister Parvin Bala hints at major changes within Land Transport Authority. And police investigate utterances at a public seminar. Police today took in a number of people in relation to the Pacific Dialogue Panel discussion which was held at the Pearl South Pacific Resort in Pacific Harbour earlier this week. FPC News understands those taken in include National Federation Party leader Professor Biman Prasad, fellow party member Attar Singh, Sudelpa leader Sitiveni Rambuka and former politician Tupeni Mbamba. Police spokesperson Anna Naisora says based on information on comments uttered during the discussion, a number of people were interviewed to clarify if the information is credible. Naisoro adds this is a police process conducted when information is, re is received about possible issues that could affect the safety and security of all Fijians. She says the step is being taken merely to eliminate all doubts and concerns that could stem from speculation. Now there has been a reshuffle of cabinet portfolios. Prime Minister Varenge Bainimarama has confirmed eight ministerial changes in a move which he says will enhance the government's ability to continue to provide a high level of service. Rachel Nath has more. Beni Marama will be assuming the role of Foreign Minister in addition to his current duties as Prime Minister and the Minister for Ito Gay Affairs and Sugar. The current Foreign Minister Ratu Inoki Kumbambola will move to Defence, National Security and Immigration Portfolio. Minister Rosie Akbar is appointed as the new Minister for Health and Medical Services, replacing Minister Chone Usamate, who now moves on to take the portfolio for Minister of Employment, Industrial Relations. Employment Minister Sami Korelavasa will now become the Minister for Fisheries, while Osea Naingama, current Minister for Fisheries and Forestry, will retain his portfolio as Minister for Forestry. Minister for Industry, Trade and Tourism, Fayas Koya, retains his responsibility but is given the additional portfolio of lands and mineral resources. An assistant minister will be appointed in due course. Minister for Lands and Mineral Resources Mary Saini Vuniwango will now resume the role as Minister for Women, Children and Poverty Alleviation. Assistant Minister for Health and Medical Services Vina Bhatnagar will now be resuming the role as Assistant Minister for Women, Children and Poverty Alleviation and enhancing the rights for people with disabilities. Alex O'Connor will become the new Assistant Minister for Health and Medical Services, focusing on public health and reporting to Minister Akbar. Rachel Nath, FBC News. And outgoing Assistant Health and Medical Services Minister Veena Bhatnagar says she came to know of a new portfolio last night. At a public event today, Bhatnagar committed to giving her 100% to the Ministry of Women, Children and Poverty Alleviation. She is expected to take up a new post at the end of next week. Very positively, I'm looking forward to joining the Ministry of Women, Children and Poverty Alleviation Group. And as I've been working with the Ministry of Health and Medical Services, I will um, give my 100% to this ministry as well. And uh, I think uh, we're all part of the government, all the ministries are part of the government. So basically, the government's focus is to uh, deliver and provide the best for the Fijians. There will be major leadership changes at the Land Transport Authority. Transport Minister Parvin Bala confirmed this while speaking at the Fiji Bus Operators Annual Convention in Lamy today. Ali Kimbia has more. It appears the constant reports of corruption and complaints against the Land Transport Authority 
have led to the minister making some tough decisions. But let me assure you that there will also be major changes in the leadership of LDA. Bala says in all his meetings with bus operators and other land transport stakeholders, the one constant has been issues with how the LTA runs and how staff aren't always honest. We cannot continue to have this. There has to be a crystal clear policies so that every individual knows what the policies are. Fiji Bus Operators Association President Pramod Chand has welcomed the idea of changes within the LTA. There are a lot of things that the LTA can do which can improve the bus industry, you know. There has to be transparency. Two senior staff of LTA has recently been suspended pending investigations by the Fiji Independent Commission Against Corruption. Ali Kimbia, FBC News. Still to come on FBC News, government committed to improving the lives of pensioners. And Red Cross marks World First Aid Day. Stay with us. Bula FM number 2 and ser Welcome back to FBC News. The government continues to commit itself to creating a supportive and inclusive society for pensioners. Outgoing Assistant Minister for Health and Medical Services Veena Bhatnagar says pensioners are regarded as senior citizens and need support. Kelly Vadala reports. Uh, frankly speaking, speaking at the 42nd Annual General Meeting of Fiji Pensioners Association, Veena Bhatnagar highlighted that the government's financial assistance benefits hundreds of pensioners. There is free bus fare scheme for our elderly citizens and the increase in the social welfare monthly assistance and um, issuance of monthly food vouchers is indeed a great mileage and advantage to our elderly communities. Government has valued and recognized the enormous contributions of pensioners and senior citizens towards developing our beloved nation. Patnagar also says government allocations to the social welfare ministry has upgraded homes for elderly Fijians. A budget of $901,501 has been allocated in the Social Welfare Ministry's 2016 budget for operations of these three aged care homes. An allocation of 200000 has also been provided to the National Council of Older Persons, NCOP. That is responsible for promoting an inclusive environment for the senior citizens of Fiji. The Assistant Minister pointed out that over the years, government has introduced numerous initiatives to improve the lives of our senior citizens. This, she says, will continue as no one is to be left behind in Fiji's road to progress. Kelly Vavala, FBC News. The delivery of the first batch of medicines under the free medicine scheme has already started. Assistant Health Minister Veena Bhatnagar says 110 out of 142 medicines under the scheme are being distributed in the central and western divisions. She says the second batch of medicines will arrive in the country in a fortnight. We have uh, heard from people that uh, we have to wait for a long time in the pharmacy area uh, for the medications to be dispensed. So this is due to the influx of patients. And now that we will be distributing, to all the private pharmacies, people will definitely uh, have easy access to medications. The Health Ministry has processed over 23,000 free medicine cards to date. Prime Minister Varenga Baini Marama received a courtesy call from a group of French senators yesterday. During the meeting, Prime Minister Baini Marama reiterated Fiji's appreciation to France for its assistance following Cyclone Winston. Baini Marama also thanked France for hosting Fijian rugby players and for looking out for them through their various French clubs. After the break, tough pools drawn for the court's inter-district championship. 
And Nandranga makes it 5 out of 5 in the Fair Brother Challenge. These stories and more coming up. Namaste, Golden Point Resort. Raki Raki Me. Mirchi FM is Garam Garam. Mirchi FM is hot. I'm Sanjay Tagwake. Mirchi FM is hot. I'm Harshana. I love Mirchi FM. It's hot in Lautoga. Hi, I'm Abhinasu. I'm Lambasa. I'm listening to Mirchi FM. Mirchi FM is so hot. I'm Shalini Devi from Cobalt Avenue. Like you open, like Mirchi FM is must do. Mirchi FM is so hot. 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 Nandranga has retained the HFC Bank Fair Brother Trophy, beating Northland by 24-17 at Prince Charles Park in Nandi today. The Stallions ran in four tries to Northland's two before sealing its fifth consecutive win. Vashnil Prasad reports. Nandranga amassed as hot favourites, facing off against Northland in the fifth HFC Bank Fair Brother Challenge. The Stallions started the match strongly with Ratu Naisa Navuma opening the account for Nandranga. And then he gets the pass away to Navuma. Nemani Nangusa then dived in for the second, and the defending champions led 12 nil at halftime. And then a quick tap and the dive there. In the second spell, Akariva Nambati stretched Nandronga's point on the scoreboard with this set piece play. Pass the time to Akariva Nambati. Brilliant. Northland fought back with its first try later in the second half. Brilliantly. However, Nandronga were on fire, and a lack of concentration by Northland defenders allowed Nandronga's its fourth try. The Stallions got its fifth challenge in Berg at Prince Charles Park in Nandi. Vashnil Prasad, FBC Sports. Army rugby team has created history, winning the first ever title at the renovated Albert Park. Army beat Rewanga by 25-10 in the RC Manubai Escort Shield final. The runner-ups of last year led 12-5 at the half-time. They ran in two more tries, plus a penalty to seal the deal at the packed Albert Park. Also enjoying the Escort Shield final was Prime Minister Vorenge Bani Marama on the stands. Meanwhile, Ami received $3,000 while Rewanga were given $1,000. Now, tough pools have been drawn for the court's inter-district championship at ANZ Stadium in Suva next month. Host Suva leads Pool A while defending champions Bar heads Pool B. Vashnil Prasad with the details. Fans, district coaches and Fiji FA officials all gathered to witness the pool draws for the 17th Courts Inter-District Championships. In Pool A, Suva is grouped with Nandronga, Lambasa and Lautoka, while Ba leads Pool B with Rewa, Draketi and Nandi. Very interesting. It's, I think so. it's a very balanced pool if you see it and I think so. The challenge will be again like uh, no one can predict who will be the winners. Uh, you know, Lodoga has just won the uh, Ink Bell of Giants but Courts IDC has always it's been un unpredictable and uh, uh, teams have to prepare well if they'd like to win this year's uh, Courts IDC. The senior division has also pulled a lot of attention with Nandongo, Sausavu and Northland Tailevu leading each pool. PGFA President Rajesh Patel says the six-day IDC tournament will be an interesting one. It's a whole week tournament. It's no longer a break there. The only break they get is uh, Saturday. So, you know, they can recover before they get into the semifinals and finals. And this is something that uh, the teams have to adjust uh, well to it and uh, make sure that their plans and their game plan is up to what they Adding to the pool draws, IDC sponsors courts also handed a $125,000 check. The premier winner gets $20,000 and the senior champion will march away with $7,000. The sponsorship for this year is $125,000, which is one of the largest sponsorships of the PGFA events. In addition to the sponsorship money, we also spend a significant amount of money in promoting the event. The IDC will be held from 5th to 6th of October at ANZ Stadium in Suva. Vashnil Prasad, FBC Sports. The Vodafone Fiji football under-20 side has been bundled out of the OFC Championship after being held one all by Papua New Guinea. PNG took an early lead in the first half before Fiji's Don Raj leveled the scores. Fiji, after completing all its match, has two points, which means its under-20 World Cup dream is now over. Vanuatu remains undefeated by beating New Caledonia by 1-0. 
Vanuatu has nine points while New Caledonia has four and have qualified to the semi-finals. Well, in the other match played earlier, favourites New Zealand were held nil all by the Solomon Islands. <laughs> Taking a look at the weather today, brief showers affected the eastern parts and interior of the larger islands. Fine weather prevailed elsewhere. Now a trough of low pressure lies slow moving to the north of Fiji and extends south over Niue. Lombasa was the warmest today at 32 degrees this afternoon, while all other centres finished in the mid to higher. Suva and Savu Sabu were 25 degrees today. Tomorrow's forecast is for fine conditions in the morning, which turns to cloudy periods and showers later in the day. We take a quick look at Monday and occasional showers over most places are expected. Isolated heavy falls are likely as well. Southeast winds 20 to 25 knots and rough seas are expected. Moderate southerly swells. Recapping our headlines. National Federation Party leader Professor Biman Prasad, Sudelpa leader Sitiveni Rambuka and a handful of others questioned by police today. Prime Minister announces cabinet reshuffle to enhance the government's ability to continue to provide a high level of service. And Transport Minister confirms changes likely within the Land Transport Authority. For these stories and others, you can tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. We move on to our poll question and this week we are asking... Should corporate companies invest more in the Northern Division? To answer, visit our FBC website. Do send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email citizensisfpc.com.fj or share it with us via our Facebook page FPC News and if you're on Twitter, you can follow and tweet us your news tips at FPC News or simply hashtag FPC News. You've been watching FBC News. I'm Amrita Priyadarshini. Good night. Bula, I'm Duri from Nassin Market. My choice is simple, Gold FM. Only the classic hits. My name is Yvonne. I'm from Nandi. I love Gold FM, only the classic hits. Sayandra, my name is Sunny. Only the Gold FM at Golden Point Resort, Rocky Rocky. Hi, I'm Anna of Nasinu. When it comes to a radio, my choice is always Gold FM, only the classic hits. My name is Anna and I'm from uh, Nandi. I love listening to Gold FM, Gold FM, only the classic hits. Gold FM, only the classic hits.